Hello YouTube, uh, here to announce a big thing for the DSi that's coming for the rocket launcher users. CFW, pretty much we uh, solved the problem of bon uh, launching a patched bootloader and now I got custom uh, launcher running. Now I'm going to show that off now. I'm going to get my uh, Mario game, my Snorlax here. <laughs> and we're going to show you how this is going to work. Camera. All right. So we'll turn that on. As you can see, you cannot boot this game normally because of the exploit. Not from the menu anyway. And I'll also show you what version uh, system, what version shows up for system settings and uh, the installed titles I have. These are the full list of titles I have installed on NAND. So this is normal launcher running right now. But I'm gonna show I'm gonna show off SD patched redirected launcher running thanks to a rocket launcher and a custom bootstrap program. So first uh, we're gonna run the rocket launcher payload. Okay, now it's in uh, rocket launcher mode, so now I'm going to run the bootstrap that runs the uh, patched bootloader, which is patched to launch uh, launcher off SD, which itself is patched to uh, run everything off SD. As you can see, the Wi-Fi LED turned on, because I have Wi-Fi turned off on NAND, but turned on on SD. As you can see, everything's different now. I got more games installed than I didn't have before. These games all run off SD perfectly fine as well, by the way. So it's completely independent from NAND. Just like EmuNAND, except better. Now, unlike EmuNAND, you don't have to put all this in a hidden partition. And it's not encrypted either. I disabled the crypto flag in the bootloader, so this all runs decrypted. I'm going to show system settings. As you can see, it now shows 1.4.5. I don't recall if I actually showed that first so I'll do that when you reboot it goes back into a uh, normal mode so you will have to reboot the exploit at least until auto boot and you can see it's back to 1.4 so for the convenience sake I'm gonna put in my auto boot cart just to make this go a little faster That we'll move that. Put my Mario game back in. I'm gonna run the bootstrap again. Currently, I have it set to skip the boot splash, uh, the health and safety screen, by simply setting the warm boot flag on ITC before launching the bootloader. So you can prevent that screen from coming up a second time if you want to. So we're back to 1.4.5 with my full listing of games. I removed a few that I didn't want on my SD Brain Age games, not too many of those, so I removed those from SD. And since everything's decrypted, you can easily add new games. Oh, you still have to decrypt the tickets, modify them, and re-encrypt the tickets, but aside from that, everything else is decrypted. So I'm going to run uh, Mario. And as you can see, it boots normally now. The DS card whitelist is also independent from NAND. The only thing I don't have yet is RSA patching, but that'll be soon. That'll probably be ready too, pretty quickly. And just to show again, I won't be able to boot the LED went off. It's back on 1.4. As you can see, you cannot launch the game now because it's back on the exploitable NAND. Insert my out of boot cart. This will work with both versions of Rocket Launcher, the auto boot version, which is obviously going to be better, and then the, the alternate method that will be public first. So now I'm going to launch more. I'm going to launch something else now. I don't know, I'm sure why I put Mario 
back in because I'm not going to launch it this time. Oh, it turns on, back on SD. This is a uh, having Wi-Fi off on NAN, but on turned on on SD is a good indicator to know if you're uh, on 1.4 on your SD version. I did a system update from this too, and that works perfectly fine too, and it doesn't harm NAN in any way. So let's see. Let's run a game that I have installed only to SD, which is Rayman. And this one's runs perfectly fine. And to show you that it's running off SD, I'm going to play a level and I'm going to eject the SD card. And you'll see the game hang. And it hung. As you can see, it no longer works because I ejected the SD card. Of course, I would not recommend you do that. I just wanted to show that to show that it's actually running off SD. I wonder if it'll recover. No, it won't. <laughs> no, it will not. And there you go. SD uh, patched custom launcher now running thanks to rocket launcher. Uh, region pa region free patching and uh, RSA patching is just a simple step away from further modifications to launcher, and that will be a thing on rocket launcher too. Pretty much, every pretty much, this is almost like CFW on a 3DS now. So. Finally, the DSi has CFW.